So it's clear from all the things that we've discussed so far, John, that there are a lot of different things in memory registers that need to be stored somewhere. Absolutely right, Rick. The first thing to say is that the system has a non-volatile memory system running the whole time. So a power off and reset isn't going to lose you all your setups. Having said that, of course, most people will want to be able to make different shows in the same studio, or even walk shows from studio to studio. So inside our system, file operations, is a thing called show file build. Now what you'll notice in my menu straight away is that in my remote storage area, I have two things that I can store on. One is the menu C drive, and one is my thumb drive in the side of the, uh, the system right away. I'm going to work with the menu system, and when I'm inside here straight off, I'm looking at a way to create a new show. When I do that, straight away you'll notice that the create show dialog starts. Over at the right hand side of my menu, I get a lot of choices, all of which I'm going to accept. Everything that I've made decisions about inside this show, from the PMEM to the source memory, will be saved inside a file, but under separate headers so that if I do need to recall these later or update my show, they're very easy to update at a very granular level. Notice that if I try to press a create uh, command, I'm going to get slammed instantly because this is vital information. Without giving a file a name, I'm never going to find it again. We're going to encourage you to do that. So as you and I are working together, I'll give this uh, show uh, an easy to remember name for us, uh, John and Rick, and when I now start to press the Create button, it will step through the list of everything that it can find about this show and save it, except for the engineering setup. And that's very important. While this is happening, let's talk about engineering setup. It's the way that the switcher is connected to the rest of the environment of my studio. That's not going to change. But each studio might have a slightly different connection environment. So what I don't want to do when I load my file to build the 6 o'clock news is first of all destroy the way that the, the system is connected to its own uh, local uh, connections. So a very good rule is to make sure that when you make a show file you do not store the engineering information inside it. Make sure that's separate and local to the studio. Probably the studio manager, the studio engineer, the truck EIC will keep a copy of his local engineering file where you and I, perhaps, as operators, would have many show files which we play back in the same unit. When we're done, I'll transfer this file to the USB stick so that we can keep it in our pocket and carry it around with us.